Lou Brissy, Corporal, U.S. Army. Came back, was in the hospital until April of 46. Discharged then and uh, reported to Philadelphia late in 46, but uh, my wound to my leg uh, got reinfected and I went back to the hospital for a while and then uh, when I got out, well, I was right at the end of the season, so they said, wait till next year. And uh, so I, I waited to the following year and joined the Philadelphia Club at spring training. I think coming home for any fellow who's been in combat is he's, he has to deal with things that his family has not experienced. So the first thing he has is a lot of misunderstandings about you've changed or you're different or someone who says, tell me what it was like, whatever the question may be. When he's dealing with things within himself that he might not know the answer to, he doesn't know how to handle it or what to do or how to get help and, and most of all, it's difficult to ask for help, you know. Uh, we all found security in the guys we were with. And when you're in the hospital, as long as you're within that hospital group, you feel secure. When you leave that group and go out to your family and the civilian world where the people may not know what you lived through, then it becomes difficult because you don't know what you can say or what you should say, but in bannering with the guys who's lived it, then it just puts an entirely different light on it. And uh, coming back was difficult in that respect for a while, but I had baseball and Mr. Mack had told me that he would, for me, when I was ready, let him know he'd give me the opportunity so I had a, uh, a golden opportunity of something out there in the distance to look forward to. And that made a lot of difference. Made a lot of difference. It, it helped tremendously to know that that opportunity was there. And when I got there and had the opportunity, it would be up to me. It was something I could control to a degree. In all my time in baseball, I never heard, there was never a discussion of the war, rare discussions of any of the Occasionally some guy might say, uh, when I was in the Navy, there was a guy, Sam Smith, and he was so and so and so and so. But nobody, it was always about personalities and not about events. Uh, never once did I hear anybody say, what did you do, or what was it like, or, you know. Uh, Bob Feller had five battle stars, he was on the Alabama as a chief gunnery officer on an anti-aircraft battery, and I never heard him, he never said a word about it. We just didn't talk about it, we were glad to be back. And we had an advantage in that we were all doing something we loved to do. So we weren't looking for anything other than to do what we loved to do, and we were doing that. So I think that helped a tremendous amount. A tremendous amount. We used to, now we would go to Walter Reed. Every year I was in Major League Ball, I went to Walter Reed at least once every summer. Uh, Perry Point at that time was a huge veteran facility for the veterans who uh, had emotional and, and uh, uh, what they call mental problems. Uh, I went there on a regular basis uh, every year. Uh, I went to the VA uh, Veterans Hospital <coughs> in Boston and Togus, Maine. I went up there a couple of times to Togus, Maine, during ball season. Uh, 
So we got away from it, but we didn't get away from it. And uh, I think when we went to uh, Walter Reed, it seemed like to me there were either three or four of us who always went to, about this together. And we'd all go and just kind of amble through and visit with the guys and see how everybody was doing and whatnot, you know, just kind of a goodwill, no formal thing of any kind.